Am I the arsehole? For making it clear that if he keeps the grandkids away then he will not be getting an inheritance. I will try to keep this short, my son and his wife home needed repairs. Before living together we had a good relationship, the problem came when his wife wouldn't follow the home rules. They are pretty simple like clean up after yourself, don't be loud at night and the big one was no drinking in the home. No alcohol in the home. We made this really clear and my son knows his mother has trauma related to alcohol. We informed Dill in general terms also. The first few months seemed fine and it turned for the worse when the weather got cold. We couldn't prove it at the time but we were sure they were drinking. It came to head when cleaning my wife found wine in the attic. She was pissed and poured it out. Apparently it was a $300 bottle and it caused a huge fight between her and Dill. We let them stay until the renovations were done and they have been out two weeks ago. Relationship has been tense and I figured we just need time apart. My son met up with me and told us we can't see our grandkids anymore. That the incident made him rethink our relationship. I told him that was bullshit, that he knew the one big rule in the home, caused stress to his mother my wife. He told me it was final and I told him if he goes through with this he will be out of the will. This started another argument and he is pissed at me. Edit the wine was open. Edit 2 I called my sister, and asked her to tell me to track down the price of the wine. My wife sent a picture of the bottle when this happened. You were right, it wasn't 300 but around 25. I need to talk to my son and find out why she lied about that. Not the asshole. You know what costs more than a $300 bottle of wine? Paying rent on an apartment or STR while your home is getting repaired. They stayed with you and the only cost was abiding by a few simple rules. They could have gone elsewhere to drink. Not the asshole. So this guy wants to tell you to your face you're out of his life, then gets mad because he thinks he's still entitled to an inheritance? Clown world. Not the asshole. You were doing them a favor. You had simple rules. They broke them. Why would they think that they can refuse a relationship between you and their children, but still be gifted your money when you die? Make no sense. It's very telling that this incident was serious enough to cut off after their home renovations were done. This clearly establishes that a free place to stay is a higher value than the offense that was given. There is roughly a zero chance this is only about the wine. I wonder what other past events factored into them not letting you see their children anymore. Yes H that your first instinct is to cut your son out of the will instead of trying to repair the relationship tells me all I need to know that there is history here you aren't telling us. There has to be more to this because saying you can't see your grandkids because a bottle of wine was thrown away does not make any sense at all. Not the asshole. They broke a simple rule and it's your money you can do what you want with it. Info did they break any other rules like not cleaning up after themselves or being loud at night? Not the asshole your house your rules. And the rules were not out of the ordinary. They broke the rules. He made his play barring you from the grandkids and you came right over the top and put him in check out of the will this is on him to figure out. Living with in-laws never finishes well. ESH. Wow you guys go nuclear fast. One bottle of wine dumped. You'll never see your grandkids again. Fine you are all out of the will. Everyone needs to calm down, and behave like adults, and talk this out. Man I'm hoping for an update on this one. You're the asshole. It really sounds to me like your wife just added to her trauma regarding alcohol by being cut off from her grandkids. So why is all the blame on the dill for the wine, if you never saw them drinking how do you know it wasn't Sunny Boy that was drinking it? You are putting the blame on dill. I think there is more to the story than a poured out bottle of wine. Not the asshole, dad, I'm cutting you off okay son, I'm cutting you off too. Surprised Pikachu face, smiley face. Not the asshole. On this incident, 
but there's something more going on here, why would they deny grandkids over a $25 bottle of wine she lied about? Is that ill alcoholic? Have there been arguments about other things? Problems they've brought up? Okay. Throw away everything over a bit of wine. This is strange. Not the asshole. They both knew the rule and still blatantly disrespected it. Yay to it never ceases to amaze me how conditional people are with their love for their children. You only love your son when he is under your control. I would love to hear his side of the story. This sounds incredibly one-sided. Instead of handling the situation like an adult, you immediately went to extortion. Sounds like your son made the right choice. Huge you're the asshole. Not the asshole. It's your rules and your house. If you can't see your grandchildren because he says so. No inheritance. This isn't Burger King. He can't have it his way. Something tells me this isn't the full story. E.S.H. There's definitely a lot of details left unsaid. I would be very curious to learn Son and Dill's side of the story or their point of view of the relationship with parents. Not the asshole at all. I'd do the same thing if I were you. Info were they staying in the attic or were their belongings being stored there? It seems an odd place for wine to be. Especially an expensive bottle. Now you don't have any right to their children nor do they have any right to your money. Info do you want a relationship that's forced? Regardless of whether or not you're right, if your son gives in to your ultimatum he will be there because he feels forced. Did you ask what about the incident made him rethink your relationship? It's clear too much of the story is missing. But one thing I find so strange in these situations is how children want to cut off the relationship with their parents but still want the parents' money after they die. Info. I feel like there are more details here. There's nothing else that happened leading to the cutting off of contact. It seems like a lot for a couple of months without booze and the destruction of a partial bottle of $25 wine. Nata, it's your home. I don't think those are any sort of outlandish rules you asked them to honor while staying with you. Stick to your guns and inform your son that you can take him and Dill to court to legally establish your rights as grandparents. Not the asshole. So you aren't good enough to see your grandkids but you were good enough to stay at your house until theirs was done. Not the asshole it sucks that your son is willing to blow up your relationship over something he agreed to. I agree with others here one of them is an alcoholic and they are desperately clinging to denial. Absolutely not the asshole. You were clear about your boundaries and they both bulldozed right through them. Now it seems your son is being manipulative and doesn't like the consequences of his actions. Why is it okay for them to set boundaries, but not you? Not the asshole. I think there is so much more going on than just the wine. Most likely he's doing what his wife, the Dill is telling him to do too. Separation from own parents because she isn't used to being confronted. She has him the son by the. Knew it was wrong or the wine wouldn't be hidden in the attic.